Who is born a leader, destined to stand at the crossroads of destiny and duty? The whispers of history have spoken my name, Dal Karning. My past is as enigmatic as the twilight that blurs the lines between day and night, yet my goal has always been evident as the sun rising. Ever since my birth, the sky has designated me as a leader with a brave heart and a kind and equitable attitude. My compass was steadfast righteousness and abiding faith rather than just metal and magnetism. I was led down a road by forces that were stronger than any worldly force by this inner guidance. My feet were measured, my eyes were fixed, and my resolve was unwavering as I traveled. I was aware that every choice I made indeed I did was an expression of the heavenly confidence bestowed upon me. In order to be a leader, one must serve, protect, and bring people together. My narrative is a tapestry of strength and wisdom weaved across time. This story talks about service rather than captivity and compassion instead of conquering. Let the values that have led me illumine this story's route as you follow the echo of my voice. Have you ever focused on the horizon, the point where the sun's blazing chariot melts into darkness? One such location was the west, where I saw the sun sinking over a murky spring as it fell below the horizon on my first journey. It served as a sobering and uplifting reminder of the transient nature of day and the mysteries that come with twilight. But even when the light faded, my trip continued. I looked to the east, where the day starts over at the crack of dawn. There, I saw the sun rising over a people who had never been spared its inescapable stare. Their existence, governed by the sun's cycle, were a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Yet my biggest obstacle came from being in the north, a region under attack from the violent Gog and Magog tribes, whose disorder threatened to spread over the entire world. I got up determined to build an unbreakable wall, a fortress made of iron and molten copper, a bulwark against the chaos. These expeditions were more than just journeys, they served as the furnaces that molded my future. Feel the heat of the western sunsets, the purity of the eastern dawns, and the resoluteness of the northern barrier as you stroll with me through these recollections. Because these events are the core of my tale, which is a story that gets told again and over with every recounting. Imagine a future in which the sun's embrace is unrestricted, reaching out to the planet and its people with a ferocity that has no boundaries. I set off east as Dol Karning, pursuing the dawn on a mission that would uncover the actual extent of daylight's reach. Here I saw folks whose lives were entwined with the sun's relentless beams, touched without a veil. They had never experienced any relief or shade from the heavenly fire that both supported and threatened their existence. I gained an understanding of adaptability and resilience in this place, the cradle of daybreak. I learned the virtue of perseverance from these folks, who never wavered in their look towards the horizon. Their evenings provided a fleeting reprieve in the cool embrace of dusk, while their days served as a monument to the might of the sun. With every interaction and tale spoken in the clear light of the sun, my heart became wiser. Feel the warmth of the eastern countries, the purity of their sky, and the might of their people as you hear my story. This portion of my voyage is only a small part of a larger odyssey, a story that will never stop weaving through the passage of time. Have you ever been in a situation when everything appears to be falling apart right in front of your eyes the brink of chaos? I, Dal Karnane, had to deal with such a reality up north. Here I saw a people engulfed in chaos, their lives consumed by the unrelenting destruction of Gog and Magog. It was a war not just against raiders, but also for civilization's own essence. Gog and Magog unleashed a wave of disorder that threatened to drown the entire globe in darkness. I answered the challenge with creativity and determination rather than a sword and shield. I built a wall with the strength of iron and the wrath of molten copper. This structure was more than just a wall, it was a symbol of both heavenly inspiration and human will. It was a formidable rampart that would last the ages, a wall that would keep the turmoil at bay. Imagine the imposing wall in the north, a fortress against chaos, while you read this story. Feel the pressure of duty bearing down on me, and the haste that propelled the building of this formidable defense. This portion of my narrative serves as a record of defense and an example of the strength of solidarity in the face of difficulty. Have you ever seen a fortification emerge from the Earth's elements rather than from bricks and mortar? 
Iron and melted copper were not just metals in my hands, they were the means of deliverance. Using these, I built a rampart, a wall strong enough to stop chaos in its tracks and keep the planet safe from approaching darkness. This was no typical work since the wall I built was going to become a legend in and of itself. It was an enormous project that combined human desire with heavenly direction. Bit by bit, the iron was erected, each section serving as a barrier against anarchy. The copper filled every void and strengthened the connection between each iron block as it streamed like liquid fire. The people's hopes rose along with the barrier, their hearts pounding in time with each blow of the hammer, their eyes reflecting the brightness of the molten metal. This wall was more than just a structure. It was a protest against the powers who wanted to destroy the area. Experience the forge's heat, the hammer's weight, and the determination that propelled each strike. As this story is told, let the picture of the barrier serve as a reminder of what is possible when people band together to face the darkness and as a symbol of protection. If you go through the pages of history, you will come across stories of rulers and conquerors, but how many of them have left behind a legacy of harmony and safety. In a world full of conflict, I am Dol Karni, a monarch who also serves as a servant to my people. My actions were never motivated by glories or the growth of dominions. Rather, they were deeds of kindness that united several nations under the flag of peace. In addition to serving as a barrier to keep out intruders, the wall I erected served as a reminder of my resolve to protect mankind from the anarchy that lay beyond. Instead of wielding a sword, as a leader, my hands built the groundwork for safety and wealth. With a voice that might have declared wars, I choose to speak of hope and togetherness. My narrative is told as a reminder of what it means to lead with kindness wherever the sun shines in the globe. As my story is told, keep in mind that my legacy is written in the hearts of the people I've defended, not in the booty of battle. This is the main plot of my narrative. My name is Dol Karni, and I am a king, a servant, and a protector of peace. My narrative is woven across history, a tapestry bursting with human color, even beyond the walls of iron and copper and the expeditions to the ends of the earth. My name has come to represent the ongoing conflict between chaos and order, light and evil. My legacy endures in every age and in every wind whisper. It is not engraved in stone, rather, it exists in the thoughts and hearts of people who try to comprehend how compassion and authority coexist. I never set out on this route for selfish gain, rather, it was a path pursued in the service of a greater calling. Recall that my narrative is about a beginning rather than an end as the sun rises and sets and the walls withstand the passage of time. It is an exhortation to everyone who hears it to rise above their circumstances, lead with fairness, and defend the sacredness of their native countries. Thus, let my story to motivate you and serve as a lighthouse in the darkness, assisting you as you navigate the difficulties of your own explorations. Since the spirit of Dal Karnain endures in each of you, a flame that gleams brightly against the darkness and represents hope for future generations.